Cambodia's Cardamom Mountains. Stunning, rugged, and as we found out the hard way, absolutely unforgiving on the 80 series. Join us as we embark on a wild four-wheel drive adventure and scratch the surface of what this remote region has to offer. We start this episode leaving Phnom Penh in search of a track we found on Google Satellite that leads through mountainous terrain to the Persat River. Did some track bashing following Google Maps and we've gotten to the a ditch. So yeah, we're gonna test out our brand new lockers we got fitted yesterday, or last week. So, if they work. <laughs> Carly is at the wheel. Let's see how this goes. The river in sight. This is another diff smasher. Yeah, it's a bit hard out there. Miss the pumpkin. How bloody good is it though? I'm just clumsy. Oh, it looks so refreshing. Oh, wow. Move to your left.
G'day and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. <laughs> really need to get out of the Australian mindset of like, I'll just start the video when we get to our first camp because uh, quite often getting to the first camp is 80% of the adventure. <laughs> uh, a really big hello and welcome to our new Cambodian subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for all the feedback from our last video from Khmer New Year. Uh, very overwhelming, so hopefully you enjoy our travel videos as well. Uh, we've just arrived uh, along the Persat River. Uh, so we followed an absolute goat track down to this spot. It was a, uh, an ox cart track actually. <laughs> so it was like kind of wide enough for us for the most part. Um, definitely not high enough in parts. But... Um, I don't know about you, I think it's all worthwhile. It was good. It was a good four-wheel drive track. It was really, it was really enjoyable. A little bit scary. Yeah. As being no reception and being in Cambodia. Yeah. A little a old as 80 series. <laughs> uh, but this spot is absolutely magical. Nestled in the mountains, considering it's the end of the uh, the dry season. Um, still quite a bit of water. So yeah, I think we're going to go for a swim because it is hot as Hades. It's April in Cambodia. And um, set up camp and then decide what we're going to do from there. Relax. <laughs> Good morning from the banks of the Persad River. Last night we did not do a lot of filming at all. We were absolutely knackered. Google Maps has said that this spot was about four and a half hours to drive here and it took eight. Um, so we're on the move pretty early this morning because if yesterday afternoon's anything to go by, it's probably gonna take us about three hours to get out of here. Yeah, and um, all the downhills we did last, yesterday afternoon, we have to go up today. So yeah. That's yeah. nothing too crazy, there's just rutted out diff bashing, so we have to do some rock yeah. packing on the way out. Yeah, so that's what we're about to do now. Um, and then I think it's my turn to drive. You want to go for it? <laughs> You've broken the car once already. I didn't break it. <laughs> Flares are there to be hit. Removed. Removed. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
side for the second little climb out. Nothing too crazy again, but that's where we dipped out on the way down. Yeah, I slipped off the edge of that rock, fell into that hole, so I'll guide Carlier up. Wheels on it, hopefully there's enough room for Addy to get through there. Get a wheel on that. Should be good. I lost the slaughter. Yeah. yeah, that's why I like, fell over and started running backwards. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't see what was happening. Yeah, give a sec, I'll just see. I think that rock just spat out. Well, it smashed them more, and that's what they came off. Oh, yeah, the other flare's gone now. You look. You like wrecking it, don't you? Oh, yeah, we're dipped out. I don't think you can go backwards either. So we're out of the jungle. It's a bit quicker than yesterday. So much quicker. At least we, we sort of knew what we were in for today. Yeah. Knew the obstacles. Yeah. Still hit some of the obstacles, but... Yeah, we packed out the ones yesterday we got stuck on, which chewed up a bit of time. And the, we weren't trying to navigate down different tracks on the way in, like we, did, we just came and followed the same track out. You know, Bit of cleared, man, cleared farming land now, so back to the main road and off to the next spot. Where's the next spot? Don't know. <laughs> Neither do I, really. So we're going to head, um, at the moment we're sort of in the northeastern section of the Cardamom Mountains, and we're going to head back out um, to the main road, then sort of head west and south. We're probably looking to stay at the Osome Community Centre tonight. I'm not sure if the pronunciation is correct. Um, ordinarily we do look for free camps, but um, given how much adventure we've had in the last 24 hours, I think we're both pretty content to just go to a dedicated campgrounds and chill out. Yeah, somewhere we can just pull up and it's not a, we're not getting camped too late. Like the, the roads are less traveled out at these parts, so We've been finding to get to anywhere is, is a bit of a mission, so we've got to start allowing more time. just arrived at the Ossome Community Centre. Looks really nice little village, community. I think we're about to drive down some stairs. <laughs> and the ladies just told us to drive down to the water and camp wherever we like. Scratch. Yeah. Oh. It's my. You're driving. <laughs> You're driving. Almost. I like lost window. Lost a whole flare of It's a side. Land Cruiser. It's fine. Oh. Chan. <laughs> 
chuck back a few beers under there. Hammocks. Can I actually trust their um, workmanship? I trust it a lot. Quite a bit higher. <laughs> when you look at the, how far the ladder goes down. <laughs> and how far the banks go up. Uh, here's the, at the end of the dry, so. Yeah. So it's a little bit windy in here. Let's have the mics on. Nice to be a breeze. It's beautiful. beautiful. Cannot complain. So we rolled in here pretty early and just been chilling out on the hammocks, had a bit of lunch, thought about going and doing some exploring but kind of tired and we're on holidays and we've just been sitting watching these rain clouds for ages and uh, honestly we thought it wasn't going to rain, we thought it was going to miss us but it's just started spinning. We haven't moved. That is looking very dark though. Dark over there too. Yeah. Oh, I've moved, I've moved in the hammock to this hammock. <laughs> uh, it's a hard life, but someone's gonna do it. Well, what is she, winner, winner? well she's bloody stepped up a level. I'm kind of feeling a little bit vindicated not going out exploring now. It's absolutely popping off over there with force lightning. It's there and then... It's like more on this side. That's well, why we haven't set anything up yet. That's a wrap from our little weekend away. Yep, this is um, the first time we've been out to the Cardamom Mountains and it won't be the last. We definitely didn't have anywhere near long enough and now that we've been out here we've got some ideas of one, how long it takes to uh, get from A to B because Google is always misleading. 
uh, and also some more activities that we can do. We uh, did take a bit of a more relaxed approach yesterday, which was not a bad thing, which was good. We mostly could have done some stuff, but that storm coming through it held us up. I was beautiful just sitting out here and watching it roll through and pretty much just swirled around us. So yeah, really, really nice. Did have a chat to one of the volunteers here who um, does some jungle tours, one, two, three day tours. Um, so I think when we come back, that's definitely something that we're gonna add to the list. If you come in the wet season, you have a much better chance of seeing wildlife. Yep, elephants, well those um, sun bears. Sun bears. Yeah. So fingers crossed we can see a couple of them on our next trip. Definitely. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. We'll catch you in the next one.